Hello, my soccer universe. It's a wrap for the 23 Bundesliga year. The winter break is starting, although three Austrian teams still have to fight in Europe. Among those, of course, my team Lusk, but the Bundesliga season is over. And there's now a break until the beginning of February, first weekend of February, actually, uh, which is really, 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 really early. But hey, so be it. We had an interesting round where not much has changed in terms of the standings. I think most results were kind of expected no and especially in the top six race we didn't really get the decisive result because all four contenders did not win and so that actually keeps it very very much up in the air we probably don't know now who is getting relegated uh it's really everything points to lose to now not having a single win the entire uh, fall that has only happened four times before in Austria and every time it ended kind of in relegation so uh, not looking good for them at all for Lusk they played in Lusna actually they didn't play in Lusna the game was played in Bregenz because Lusna is building a new stadium so from now on they have to play in Bregenz which is close-ish by but yeah uh, was a comeback win uh, where you just had to show your qual quality to get get the win without being really convincing actually at one point I thought we that might be a real downer, but in the end, it was then an easy win. I think the only surprising result came in Linz, of Blauweiss Linz, where uh, VSG, Tirol, actually, Wattens, actually managed an away win after being down relatively early, but they have been threatening to do so. I would say we'll quickly look over the results uh, and then look at the table and where things are going. Uh, the big game of the round, I mean, this is Rapid against Salzburg, Sal 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 the most supported team against the uh, most fan support against most financial supported teams. It's always a big one. Uh, it had a surprising early kickoff on Saturday, uh, which usually doesn't happen. I think it's because Sky Sports uh, also made a kitty pot uh, a broadcast with that, you know, having kids uh, comment on it. So maybe it has to do something with that. I have no idea why they did it so early was a tight game. It was a game that went back and forth, but it was also a game that Salzburg just won by being the better team. And the interesting part is that I hear many say that this is the weakest Salzburg team in a long time. And still, they are first in the table. Still, they secured that win. It was actually quite a nice goal. Uh, Sucic cross, across that Piotkowski then uh, heads in. Uh, rapid gay gave it all. It's a typical rapid performance for 23 24 creating uh, chances, not converting, being in there, but not quite, quite enough. They had a, a Burgstaller goal disallowed in the second half for a margin of side, but then uh, literally the same goal was disallowed for Salzburg in stoppage time as well. So, you know, uh, give and take overall, it is an, uh, I would say, overall deserved win for Salzburg uh, in the end. As I said, they secured the top spot for the winter break. Still, they could get... It seems like one could get at Salzburg, but it will take a real good form. You need to be very, very, very steady on that one. As for Rapid, um, it is the expected loss one, would say. I mean, a point would have been uh, big for them. Um, I think the question is whether uh, to many, how many players they can hold on because especially Marco Grohl is already threatening to leave and he has been one of the better players for repeat this season. Um, also Klang for the, the duel of the Austrias, it has to be said there was a wonderful Tifo by the Austria Vienna fans and I not often lot them, but they went into the block covered the entire block in gift wrapping paper. Uh, basically, when the teams uh, went out, they opened the parcel and the entire block was uh, cleared in such a way that there was three. Give us three points for Christmas. Absolute brilliant. I really have, 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 have to say, give them loads of credit for, for that. And Austria Vienna was largely the better team. Again, this is also typical. And also Austria Vienna actually uh, made a turn turnaround until uh, recent results. Um, even scored a goal early in the second half. Uh, that was then this day. This is again for an uh, offside, but it was. Uh, and then uh, in short minute, Klangfurt gets two goals through Benatelli and Carvina in the 63rd and 65th. And they say, oh, 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 this is again, this is the knockout punch for us. us but credit where credit is due, they actually fought themselves back. Aslan in the 75th uh, pulls one back, and then uh, Reinhold Ranftl 
just yanks one in in the 85th minute. I'm always hurting when he's playing because, you know, he was actually a quite liked player for Lask. But yeah, also when I salvage that, meaning that again, it's a 2-2 between those two teams. They also met in the cup with Austria-Vienna 1-1-0. One, one, uh, keeps both of them alive and no one is really knocked out. I think uh, austria Klang for the win probably would have knocked out uh, us, 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 Austria-Vienna out of the race for the top six. Uh, the last game... <sighs> You had early, you need to score in the first 10, 10 minutes. Uh, there was especially one a triple or quadruple chance where uh, the, uh, the Lusnar goalie just was outstanding, it has to be said. Um, they couldn't get, 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 get in. It was really from short distance. But then, while still having control of the game, they let it a little bit slide. And then when Diaby, more or less with the first shot on the goal, uh, the last defense was a little bit unsorted. There is an attack coming. They are not very close on him. Uh, I think uh, Tias um, misjudged the whole thing uh, that let uh, Diaby uh, go free after the yellow pass. And then uh, Norman is really attacking him. Lealim Shun, and he curls a beautiful shot into the top corner. It's 1 0 for Lusten now. And I was, that cannot really be because uh, this is the worst team. At the moment, this is absolutely the worst team in, in, in the league. This is one that you have to beat. And could it have been even worse because right after they have to lose, have had another a pretty good chance. They could have double double lead. But then, Goeginger uh, comes on, Ljubicic come on, and um, Goeginger free, 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 free goal goes out to uh, Stojkovic and Kennedy Boateng. Played for last before scores an own goal uh, in the 61st minute, and then a br really nicely played goal 11 minutes later, where a uh, ball comes to Robert Schul who lobs it over the D defense, and Uso then uh, more or less lobs, it bounces off, and then he lobs it over the goalie into the net, turns the, uh, the game around, and Liu in the 90th uh, makes it 3 1 without celebrating. But that was the game. You got the three points uh, in the rain. As I said, the game was played in Bregenz because the Lusner Stadium is being reconstructed um three points you stay up top you go with good feeling into the clash uh with toulouse on the weekend so let's see where it goes from here then on sunday blauers lens took a very early first minute through stefan pirkel um and seemed to continue their good home form However, uh, late in the second in the in, in, in first half um uh Wattensburg Threatening Kronberger and uh, first has a, a good, good chance, and Diara scores the equalizer just before they have, and right after they have Prelets makes it 2 1. Then Blaubes really try to score, have also a goal disallowed, uh, but in the end they cannot get the equalizer. And Tirol do what they have been threatening to do for quite a while to get finally a win, separate themselves from Lusna. They still have not had a clean sheet. That is also remarkable. Hartberg also confirmed their really good form against the Wolfsburg team that is battling for the top six. They get a relatively easy 2-0 win with their absolute unique style of play within. In the league. They don't play the Red Bull school that is played by Salzburg, Sturm and Lusk. No, they do their own style. But Eck is a little bit more possession-based game, which for such a small uh, team is really, really uh, remarkable. The goals come from Sangare and Providence. Uh, Hartberg is the story of the season so, so far. They will make top six. They will not get relegated after a few couple of hard, hard, hard seasons. Markus Schopp doing wonders there. And then Sturm beat Altach 1-0. It should have been way more. The goal came earlier. A quick snack pass to uh, Jatta, uh, who makes it 1-0 or in the third minute. Then they waste many, many chances, uh, which kept Altach alive. But overall, Sturm Graz deserved that win. So we have that all the top three have won and are remaining as they were in the last week. It just, just increased. Most notably, if you take the last 11 or 12 games, uh, the league is really, really tight, but Lusk actually have the best, best rare record, which shows that the start was not uh, what was undoing Lusk a little bit. So I uh, just wanted to have mentioned that, but it's really, really tight up top. Um, Salzburg and Sturm Graz had better starts to the season, and so they are in one and two. It's probably between those two for a title. I would love it if Lusk could uh, get something rolling there. Hartberg, as I said, are relatively safe in the top six spot. And then you see the next four. Those are the ones that uh, battle for the top six spots. But Klagenfurt and Rapid probably are the favorites in there. Austria will need a little bit of a miracle. Uh, they have... A steeper hill to climb, Blauers, Linz, Altach, 
probably will stay relatively safe and away from the rele relegation zone. I think even Tirol, it's really points all to Austria. Lose tonight at the moment. Um, if you see here the, the expected final re regular season standings, it is more or less four on top, four on the bottom already uh, resigned to the top six or bottom six, and then there are four in the middle that are actually battling out, which makes actually the league at the moment exciting. Um, with Rapid and Klagenfurt making it, Rapid actually have a good chance of finishing fourth, according to my model, because they would be the better rated team in there, and having having the points will definitely help. And as for relegation, you also see that Lustena I've been saying it's very, very much. I don't. I don't want to say foregone conclusion. They will get a new coach in, but it does not look good at all. But yeah, that's how it stands now. We're going into the winter break. When we come back, we first have a cup round, second of February, and it's already a big one. Lask against Salzburg. That's third against first in at Lask. Hongkong Salzburg is one of the only two teams that have uh, beaten Lask in the new st stadium, and they actually did it twice. But that's a big one. Then we have Sturm Graz against Austria Vienna. Another big, big, big one a little bit later. Uh, and then the other ones, a little bit uh, less. So also have happening at the same time, 3rd and the 4th of Feb, 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 February. So really interesting stuff. Uh, in the Car Cup Cup, Cup round, the first round back is then the weekend after. We don't know exactly when the games will be, but 10th and 11th of February. Actually, quite a few big ones there. Um, you know, we have Austria Vienna against... Uh, ha I mean, Hartberg blau -Weiss will probably not have any uh, real bearings, but Austria Vienna against Hartberg. Hartberg is kind of safe, but Austria Vienna needs that point. Uh, same thing for Klagenfurt in Linz, but they always lose, lose, lose. So those are the last, uh, the, maybe the less important ones. But the next three, Salzburg Sturm, 1v2. That's a big one. We have Tirol against Lust, Lustner. Those are the two bottom teams. If Lustner and Wallmann have any chance, and yes, the points get half, but these are really, really vital points there that you need to at least get a little bit closer. And then Wolfsburg against Rapid is a direct head-to-head -head for one of the top six balls. If Wolfsburg win against Rapid at home, they would be in the driving seat. So really interesting round cover. That's right after the winter break and right after cup round as well, where, for instance, you know, Wolfsburg... Don't play yet. So yeah, last Bundesliga video for this year. Interesting one. I will keep, 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 keep it up. Please let me know where you think that the league is going. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.